Persians have always had a trick up their sleeve, and it's been over a century that they have been evolving. And one of the latest evolutions is direct fuel injection. Not to be confused with the eight other different types that exist and replace the carburetor, direct injection is what we're talking about today. What is it? Well, as you can see, it has a reminiscence of diesel engines where the fuel is injected directly into the combustion chamber. What advantages are available from injecting fuel directly into the combustion chamber? Well, let's see. Gasoline direct injection paired with turbochargers have allowed engines to become smaller without sacrificing power. This is a process called downsizing. Reducing the size of the engine also reduces the amount of fuel needed and you get a savings of about 15%. So they found a way to make a smaller engine without having to sacrifice the power output. Direct injection is like the Beyonce of fuel injection systems. It's all about that direct delivery and precision. Instead of casually spraying fuel into the intake port like a garden hose, direct injection injects fuel straight into the combustion chamber where the magic happens. In a direct injection system, fuel is delivered to the injectors at high pressure, typically between 500 and 3000 psi. The fuel injector sprays a fine mist of fuel directly into the combustion chamber where it mixes with the incoming air. Imagine a tiny ninja squirting a precise high-pressure mist of fuel into the cylinder, mixing the air in a fiery tango. The fuel is ignited by the spark plug, leading to the combustion and power generation. This dynamic duo creates a powerful explosion when ignited by the spark plug, delivering maximum performance and efficiency. Another advantage is that the fuel that goes into the cylinder evaporates. Like any other process of evaporation, it takes heat with it. With the release of more heat inside the cylinder, this allows more air to come into it, which goes through the turbo and gets shot back in. What you get is a very complete filling of the cylinder with highly emulsified mixture, which translates to lower consumption and higher output with lowered emissions coming out the rear end. Here you see how the cylinder gets downsized. The combustion chamber gets downsized and the whole engine is smaller. What we see on the graph is what the output of this engine would be, but how it is raised through the direct injection system and the turbocharger to get the same performance we had with the larger size. Direct injection systems can vary in design and complexity, but they generally consist of a high pressure fuel pump, fuel rail, fuel injectors, and the engine control unit or ECU to monitor and adjust fuel delivery based on various factors such as engine speed, load, and temperature. With direct injection, your engine becomes a lean, mean fuel sipping machine, optimizing power output and emissions control like a boss. It's like upgrading from a flip phone to the latest smartphone, smoother, faster, and more efficient. If you're a fan of performance engines and like turbos, then you are familiar with the phrase turbo lag. It's like when you ask a question and there's a delay before the response. You're left hanging eagerly awaiting the answer. In the case of a turbocharged engine, that delay can feel like an eternity when you're waiting for that surge of power to kick in. How can we address this problem? Scavenging helps optimize the exhaust gas removal process by efficiently clearing out the residual gases from the combustion chamber during the intake stroke. This ensures that the combustion chamber is filled with fresh, clean air for the next cycle, improving engine efficiency. When scavenging is combined with a turbocharger, the engine operates at its peak efficiency by delivering the right amount of fuel and air for combustion while effectively removing exhaust gases and helping the turbo spool up even at low RPMs. Now, all this is done with very precise and very quickly processed timing done by the ECU, which has to think in terms of milliseconds to time the intake, exhaust, and all the workings of this complicated system. And we can't forget about what happens to the gases all produced by this cycle. The gases that escape the system, well, the, all the electronics paired with all the sensors work together to make sure the catalytic converter does its job correctly and the gases that do eventually escape are in accordance to the very strict emission standards of today's automotive manufacturing. To finish up what we've been talking about, these highly sophisticated injectors, how they behave, 
when they open, and how they operate in such fast intervals only work adequately if and only if the quality of gasoline used in the system is of high quality. Not only the octane rating of the gas, but the quality of it, how it was made, what additives it carries, and how it was distilled. All these variables are very important. These systems were designed to be exclusively used with high quality gasoline. Overall, direct injection systems offer several benefits compared to traditional port fuel injection systems, including fuel efficiency, power output, and emissions control. So next time you hear direct injection, think of it as the superstar fuel delivery system that's here to revolutionize your engine's performance while looking fabulous doing it. Hey guys, it's your boy Caesar here and welcome to the wonderful world of automotive innovation. Don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe as it is the best way to help out our growing channel so I can make bigger, better, and more interesting videos for you.